Hello everyone, GPJ here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about Gallagher. Gallagher is basically a single target abundance nihility combo that is similar to Locha, where he will be specializes in break damage and making sure that the enemies are applied debuffs consistently, sustaining the team by healing and also breaking them at the same time. Now that I gave you the too long did watch version, let's talk about him a bit more. So Gallagher is rumored to have an important role in the upcoming patch where he plays the detective kind of thing. With his getup, he sounds and looks like a disheveled bartender from New York, at least to me personally. He's mixing up drinks, he's also throwing hands at the same time. But yeah, you know, his, his basic attack, it's, it's alright. It, it, looks, it looks cool, I guess. His skill, he pops a cold one with the boys. You know, gives out the heal for the entire, not for the entire team, for the target. And his alt though. The way that he brandishes his tie and then he's charging up with the scars glowing around his forearms. And then a Wolverine claw aura thing comes out and then just lashes through the entire enemy. That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick, not gonna lie. But the virality of pent up rage and pent up frustration. Anyway. The way that they talk about Gallagher's and his specialty to break, I think they mention... Hold on. Okay, so I checked again with Gallagher's information regarding his skill set. With his talent, every time a debuff target is attacked by an ally, the attacker's HP gets restored, which is pretty nice. And with the technique, every immediately attacks the enemy and then you inflict a special debuff on all enemies now i'm assuming that it's gonna be the the basada thing that is applied from his ultimate which immediately you have a, a two turn chance to get healed and to top up your hp now that's pretty cool but the way that they worded that his skill set is specializes around break and he increased break both for himself and to allies I think that he's going to be our first healer that specializes in break damage. Specifically, you hypothetically, you might want to build him with break effect to increase his heal. Now, that might be an interesting way of getting around it, but it's going to have to it's going to have to come with some multiplier issue because most of the other healers, if you stack HP on them, they get tankier and their heals get bigger. I think for Gallagher, the way that they balanced it is that they might have a flat scaling multiplier. And I think that could be an issue if you don't know what you're doing. If you do know what you're doing and you want him to do damage, then sure. Now, let's talk about how to build him. Because, as I said before, he's a, an abundance, abundance nihility combo. Where he's closer to Locha than any other abundance unit. But... He's also not the same as Locha, I because he specializes in break effect, right? He specializes in breaking the enemy. And you could argue that you could sustain by killing them as quickly as you can. But with Gallagher, the way that they need to balance it, I think, in the dev's mind, is you want to make sure that your healer always survives before the entire team dies, right? So if you focus on having the best dps sets for gallagher and making sure that he has a high enough break effect then his heals are gonna suffer because he doesn't have a way to sustain himself if you say build him 200 percent break effect and then you ignore effect rest you ignore hp you ignore defense he's gonna get killed just like locha if you build attack percent and speed only attack percent and speed his heals will be huge but his survivability will be very very iffy so that's a concern i'll just have to see we'll just have to see how it goes also with his light cone the what is real one the one that he has you know a match lighting up with a room full of cloth it increases the unit the wearer's break effect by i think it's 24 percent at s1 and it restores every time it restores hp every time the wearer uses basic attack so that could be their answer to making sure that your Gallagher survives and still heals with the entire team. But for me personally, I'll try to build him as, as a sustain first and a debuffer second. Gallagher 
is synergistic with Akron. You can see it in the way that they, in the way that the alt is described, in the way that his intense basic attack is described. I think it could be interesting. There are so many factors going into it. I mean, don't know how much his heals are going to cost. I wonder if you build him damage, will his heals suffer? We, we, there are so many other factors that we don't, we can't see as of right now. That could be an issue. But yeah, that's it for me about Gallagher. I'm not going to talk about Aventurine because honestly, I'm not going to pull for him. So why bother? But for Aventurine, uh, yeah, he's a shielder. Another one. Yay. He's a shielder that work. He's a shielder that works best with follow up attacks, and he can apply debuffs. So he could have a future synergy with follow up attack units like Topaz, Clara, Ratio, or he could also have synergies with units that needs debuffs to work, like Acheron. So that could be interesting. But anyway, that's it for me. What do you all think? Leave it down in the comments below. What do you think about Gallagher? How he's gonna work? Is he your daddy or not? And I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.